the Carolina Panthers played the Giants this past weekend. It did not go well for Carolina. A resounding defeat punctuated by the benching of Sam Darnold for P.J. Walker, who was last seen playing for your Houston Roughnecks, Shireen, of the XFL. (laughs) Matt Rule, coach of the Panthers, earlier today, talking about the quarterback situation and specifically addressing the reports. They ain't rumors. They're reports, and there is merit to them that the Panthers are one of the two finalists to trade for Deshaun Watson. Here's Rule talking about the Watson chatter. I, I know there was a report out there. Uh, you guys know that wasn't for me. Um, uh, you know, um, I, I really have nothing to nothing to nothing to add to that. You know, my focus is on this team, and uh, we're a three and four football team right now, and uh, we've got to find a way to win this week. So my, my focus is on uh, learning from yesterday and then getting ready for this week. Um, with that being said, um, you know, uh, Sam Sam will start a quarterback this week. Um, you know, I've. I've said to you guys that there's going to be some high moments and some low moments. Uh, I think how he responds this week is going to be important uh, for him and to our team. Um, and I, I think I made the right decision yesterday, to be quite honest with you. Um, you know, it wasn't good enough. And, um, you know, when you're the quarterback, it has to be good enough. And it wasn't good enough. I mean, will you particularly contact uh, the Texans about uh, Deshaun Watson before the trade deadline? You know, and I understand why you guys have to ask. And obviously, I can't talk about any player under contract or anything like that. So you know, I couldn't answer a qu- uh, that question anyway. But um, you know, my fo- I'm here today to talk about uh, you know yesterday and this week. I'm, uh, what our team doesn't need right now is a distracted coach. We need you know they need me focused on the matter at hand, and that's finding a way to win. Yeah, and the Panthers have lost four in a row after starting three and zero. He said all the right things. You cannot talk about interest in a player under contract with another team. Even though the NFL rarely enforces the tampering rules, you never know which day, which violation, which occasion is going to be the one that gets the league office to come after you and start taking draft picks. So it's better to be safe. Rule was smart. And let's face it, Shereen, at the end of the day, it's not his call. Owner David Tepper covets a franchise quarterback more than anything else at this point and he sees an opening to potentially get Deshaun Watson it comes down to which team he will he will waive the no trade clause for the Dolphins are the favorites there's a chance that it will be the Panthers and it could go down as soon as tomorrow I'm not saying it will I'm just saying it could to Miami if it doesn't happen in Miami Carolina becomes the next destination, but it's not going to be Matt Rule's choice. It's not going to be his say. Why would he say no to it at this point when he benched Sam Darner for P.J. Walker? But the bottom line is this is ownership stuff. This is oligarch prerogative in in Carolina and in Miami. And uh, Tepper wants Watson, and we'll see if Tepper gets him. Well, and that's the thing too, Mike. I mean, Matt Rule, if he, what if he just came out and said, yeah, we're interested in Deshaun Watson. They end up, they don't get him. What does that do for the psyche of this football team? So you have to pretend that it, it's not happening when we know it is happening and they want him and they want him very badly. And who wouldn't want Deshaun Watson over Sam Darnold? I said before the year started, I didn't think the Panthers would make the playoffs because I didn't believe in Sam Darnold. And that's just proving true. He looked good in the first three games. He hasn't looked good in the the past four games. Yes, they're a different football team with Christian McCaffrey in there. He's played six games in the last two years. I just don't think you can count on him at this point to be in your lineup every single game of every single year. But they are 3-0 and with Christian McCaffrey in the lineup. That will help this offense, but what will help this offense more is getting a better quarterback. And I think we all agree, if he doesn't get put on the commissioner exempt list, Deshaun Watson is the better quarterback over Sam Darnold, who, by the way, is has his 77.5 passer rating. It's above only four rookies right now. He's not good. He hasn't been good this season. Seven touchdowns and eight interceptions. And listen, you can start doing the victory lap. You said the Panthers have no chance to make the playoffs. Now, we may feel differently if they end up with Deshaun Watson. And in that same draft on PFT Live, which I should have vetoed, I said the Bengals have no <laughs> chance to make the playoffs. And I got to own that. Wrong. But, uh, but, hey, circumstances change. They haven't made it yet. All we know is that their worst possible record could be 
5-12. and 12. That's all we know. They could lose 10 in a row. Stranger things have happened, although I don't think they will. The Panthers really need someone like Deshaun Watson if they want to salvage this yeah. season because from 3-0 and to 3-4, and four, and I don't think Joe Brady, a guy that gets a lot of buzz for head coaching yeah. consideration, I don't think he and Darnold did enough together to stay ahead of defenses that started to figure out what they were doing. And, yeah, it hurts to not have Christian McCaffrey. But you know what? They weren't terrible last year, and they didn't have McCaffrey for most of the season. So you still got to move forward. You still got to win games. And I think they would be much better, even without McCaffrey, if they could get Deshaun Watson. We will see if they Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.